Hey everybody, it's your average jeweler again, Andrew. I'm back talking about something we've spoken about in the past, but I don't think all of you have seen it or heard it, and it's just been a while. It's an important topic, and that is cleaning your jewelry correctly. Before you go anywhere, you might be saying, I know how to clean my jewelry. Being around people that say that, I can tell you there are a lot of mistakes that happen, and some of them can ruin your jewelry. So I encourage you to stick around. We're going to cover some good topics, uh, some helpful t hints, and when you should probably seek more professional help. Let's get into it. As always, thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. If you like the video, I hope you'll hit the button. If you love the video, maybe you'll consider sharing it. I believe there's some good useful information in here. Cleaning your jewelry is a very important part of having jewelry. Uh, for one thing, it can cause damage to stones if you get them dirty and they, they get rubbed up against the surface. They can actually wear away many gemstones and jewelry itself but it also is a big part of how your jewelry looks pretty. Cleaning your jewelry is an important step, a vital step in owning or having jewelry. And some of it has to do with just keeping dirt and contaminants off so that it doesn't ruin your jewelry or wear stones down. But it also is a big part of keeping your jewelry looking how you want it to look. And whether it's the metal that you want it to look clean and shiny again, or whether it's the gemstone that just started to look dull and you can't explain why, maybe it just needs a good cleaning. So the first thing I want you to do is identify what you have. And I don't just mean, well, I have a ring. I mean, you really need to take a look at if there are stones involved, you need to know what the stones are. If there are metal, well, there's usually metal, but what is the metal? And you wanna take a look at how is this put together? All of those things are gonna help you figure out what you need to do to take care of that piece of jewelry. Now there are certain stones that you have to be careful with. Uh, diamonds, usually there's not a whole lot of concern there. But if you start getting into something like an emerald, well you don't really want to put that into an ultrasonic machine to clean it up. You might run into problems there. Uh, there there's a lot of those examples where they're fine most of the time, but there are certain methods where you wouldn't want to use certain chemicals on certain stones. Again, you wouldn't want to use a, something like a steamer or an ultrasonic on certain stones, uh, because what if there are air bubbles in there and you put that under a steamer? Uh, things are going to expand and it's going to explode. That has actually happened at times. And while I don't think many of you have all of those pieces of equipment at your homes, it's important to understand that you do have to be careful depending on what it is. Going into how the piece is structured, this could have to do with whether you have stones that are held in by prongs, whether it's just metal linked together, one solid link after another, or if you have uh, more delicate situations of how the stones are set in there, uh, if you have really light or small prongs on certain pieces, um, or if it's just a straight metal piece of jewelry that may be really in intricate, you might need to be careful on how thin those places are or if you start scrubbing it with anything, you don't want to wear away a component or break a component. So that's why I say you should really take a second, step back, look at the piece and try and think of what might I need to be careful about. So let's start with some common scenarios. Silver jewelry. What does silver jewelry do? It usually tarnishes. And this can be a really easy thing to fix. If your jewelry starts to go dark or even black, sometimes it's as simple as having a jewelry cleaner or a, a tarnish remover specifically. And these are very easy to use. Generally, you would just put them in a dish. You put the piece of jewelry in there for maybe 10 seconds. You take them off and you rinse them really well. Um, Rinsing is an important step because you don't want to leave any of the residue of that cleaner behind. Uh, most of them are acidic, which is how they take away the tarnish. And they're not usually dangerous, um, but you don't want to leave it on something because prolonged exposure, you don't know what's going to happen and it can create problems. Some people have had luck with at-home solutions, um, Windex, 
Coca-Cola, things like that. I have found from my own experience and testing, usually a designated tarnish remover is going to do the best job. Now you might not be dealing with tarnish, you might just be dealing with dirt or grime. In that case, uh, you could use something again like a Windex-like solution or uh, some type of soft soap, uh, diluted Dawn, something of that nature, but there are also designated jewelry cleaners that tend to do a very good job at cleaning that up. Uh, along with that, a little tip to go on the side is that you can warm those up a little bit, and if they're warm, they'll do a better job at breaking down the dirt. The biggest piece of all of this, if I can leave you with one piece of information that you're going to want for cleaning your jewelry, it's to use a soft bristle toothbrush. If you have a soft bristle toothbrush and just some type of basic solution, you're going to be able to take care of a lot of jewelry cleaning. Uh, now you do need to be careful. As mentioned before, you don't wanna start pulling at prongs or scrubbing on stones where uh, there could be something that could be worn down. But if you have a soft bristle toothbrush, you are ahead of the game and you should be able to take care of most of these things. Seems simple, seems obvious. You have no idea how many people don't go right to that. Now, if it's not tarnish and it's not dirty, it could be that it needs a polish. By that, I mean maybe the metal itself has actually been scuffed up or warmed down and it doesn't have a nice polish to it. And that's gonna make things look dingy and at times dirty. One thing you could do is go out and get a jewelry polishing cloth. Many of them have a rouge cloth on one side, which has a solution that helps to, uh, to wear it down more quickly and polish it up more quickly. And then on the other side, you just have a, a very soft cloth that's gonna help give you that shine back. That's gonna help a lot of people. Now granted, there are pieces of jewelry where it's hard to use this. It's ideal when you have flat, smooth surfaces, like a ring. There are some pieces of jewelry you can use it on, but again, if you have fine necklaces, you wanna be careful rubbing against them because you can just start breaking them. Now you've heard me make a lot of warnings in this video. Hopefully it doesn't discourage you. All I wanna make sure you do is that you take care of your jewelry and usually cleaning it is a good thing. You do need to be careful and if you have questions or concerns, it's a good idea to find a local jeweler that can help you out, let them take a look at it, and if you get into something like it needs refinishing or it needs a higher polish, that's something they can help you with. And you can get your jewelry looking, probably almost looking new again. I hope that encourages you. I hope you can enjoy these pieces for years to come. After all, that's why we love jewelry, is it's something that we enjoy having. And usually we fell in love with it in this very pretty state. Well, let's try and keep it close to that so we can keep enjoying it. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below which aspects you found interesting, uh, which things will hopefully help you moving forward. And I hope you keep coming back so that we keep learning together.